Next on The Wizard. At last I have McKay's life in my hand. On The Wizard. At last I have McKay's life in my hands. I waited a long time for this. Thousands of lives could be at stake. He's going to use that laser to heat up the rock inside the fissure. McKay is going to feel the pain I've had to endure all these years. Then, if he's lucky, I might let him die. Two of you around each other like an anchor knot. Where were you going, Tilly? I'm go visit a boyfriend if it's any of your, your business. Crew is ordered not to leave the ship. Well, so I went back for a little last minute. It's a long, hot journey across to the States. <clears throat> Here. It ain't mannerly to go through a lady's personals. Quiet. I tell you, I've made 18 trips in my time in 30 years and never had a owner didn't trust me from stem to stern. it's like to suffer in pain. The only blessing is that it's a sign you're still alive. Do you value your life? Then think of your suspicion as your life's blood. If it pours out of you, you'll die. You will never again set foot on my ship. Another mistake in judgment would be fatal. Do you understand? Yes.
Mason. You are my surrogate in the outside world. I will not tolerate inadequacy. I'm sorry, Mr. Tryon. Enforce tighter security on the ship and the house in California. Yes, sir. What about the photographs? They prove nothing. But have her watched and see where it leads. Well, haven't you ever seen someone walking the dog before? Don't they teach you anything at school? Wait, look at this one. It's round the world. Step back. I don't want to knock your heads off. You ready? Be careful. One, two, three. How can yo-yo work if that a spring? Well, you see, it's his magnet on my finger. When the yo-yo's the right distance, it'll orbit like this. If I get a bit closer... <laughs> what do you think of that? Oh, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, don't say that. Keep down. You're like a pack of wild animals. It's like feeding time at the zoo. I'm talking about time. It, it's time for me to go back to work, and I'm afraid you've got to go home now. Have your suppers, right? Come on, you can come back tomorrow. Do we have to go now? My house is so boring. Yeah, there's nothing to do at my house either. Nothing to do? You call boating down the Amazon being chased by a crocodile snapping at you or climbing Mount Kilimanjaro where one false step could be your last nothing to do? What do you mean? We can't do any of that stuff. Of course you can. In your head, in your imagination. That's the best place to play. <laughs> Electricity bill. Oh, from Vienna, huh? That opera singer of yours? Uh, no, Darcy. Darcy? How's she doing? Oh, she's having a great time. Lyndon gave her my old assignment. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Life's full of surprises, that's for sure. Yeah, well, I don't like surprises. I like to know what's going to happen, and that way I can deal with it when it comes. Mm hmm. I miss her, too. Oh, what's this? Hong Kong. What is it? This is a necklace I gave an old friend. I haven't seen in a long, long time. Why'd you send it back? Simon. Alex, uh, sailors used to carve scrimshaw on whale's teeth or ivory, but this is a really unique necklace. You have to fit the pieces together before you can see the picture. I think Tilly's trying to send me a message. Why didn't she just write a letter or use the telephone? Well, perhaps she couldn't. What's the carving up? Maybe I can help you. If I remember, it's two whales and a ship in the background. So who's Tilly? <laughs> Tilly's like no woman you've ever met. There's not another living soul on Earth like her. Sounds like you were in love. Well, love doesn't really explain it. You see, Tilly, she looked after thousands of sailors. She cared for, cooked for them. Pulled them out of bar and brawls from Borneo to Bombay. Still found time to take a small cabin boy under her wing. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Two whales and a ship, no message. Wait a minute. There, yeah, there it is. Yeah, red eye, twin, twin dragon. dragon. Well, Red Eye, that was a code we used to use. It means she's being watched. And Twin Dragon? That's, that's a restaurant at the Hong Kong waterfront. She used to work there. We know what hurry means. 
Uh, Simon. Alex, till he's in trouble, we've got to get to Hong Kong. Here we go again. Tilly going in the kitchen now. By the look of things, she wasn't exaggerating about being watched. We're gonna have to find some way of getting her out of there without causing too much suspicion. Follow my lead. Go of disease control. We've had multiple reports of termine poisoning caused by the food here. This establishment is officially closed pending our investigation. Yes, yeah, strap to cockeye. Ah, this is my assistant, Mr. Baggett. He's a specialist in getting into hard to reach areas. There's fungus in here. I can smell it. Yeah, well, Doc, you seem to have lost your way. Snow White ain't around, and don't whistle on your way out. Excuse me. Yeah, so yeah, we made to the gun mark. Go to a toilet, quick, there, go out. British. Look at the grease under here. It's so thick, even the cockroaches can't get out. Well, you've got the perfect view for it. Look at this pot. It's disgusting. How would you like to inspect it from the inside? Here, you. Let's have another look at your identification. Your hands are filthy. Have you actually touched any of this food? No, but that's Have you eaten it? Yes, I may. And how about you? Bit. Have you eaten any of this? Yes. Uh, Mr. Baggett, better test these two for levels of contamination. Yeah, certainly. Certainly stand over you? here. Turn around. What? Could you spit into here, please? Spit in? And be careful. Very careful not to get any on the floor or your shoes. Or me. It's very bad. It's very bad. Well, what's that, then? Take one of these, go outside, get plenty of fresh air. And you, you're in big trouble. All right, the restaurant must be cleared, everyone but the cook. Outside, please. We have a health emergency here. Drop your chopsticks. Now, seal this up as a contaminated area. You've got the day off. You can go home now. What do I have now? Do I sing or do I call? I got Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Now, what way up? Yeah. Simon, I knew you'd come. I knew you'd come. Oh, woo! Silly. Let me look at you. I'm standing on a step. Oh, <laughs> seeing you is just like seeing the sun come from behind a storm cloud. You don't know how much I've missed you, Simon. I've missed you, Tilly. Well, that got the place cleared out. Those two watchdogs are still hanging around outside. Uh, Tilly, this is my good friend and associate, Alex Drago. Hi, Alex, how are you? <laughs> Simon's told me a lot about you. Oh. Now then, how have you got yourself in trouble this time? Oh, Simon. You remember Eli? Eli Akers, Camp Nakers? Of course I do. He was the love of your life. Yeah, well, after 20 years, he'd put on a little age and a little weight, and I finally looked good to him. We was going to get married after all these years. I blossomed late in life. <laughs> Both shipping out on the Midnight Pearl, and, and they come down, and they told me he was dead. Fell overboard, they said. Shoot, Eli could stand in a squall on one leg and never sway. They give him the shove, Simon. I know it. Why would somebody want to kill him? Well, the new owners brought on their first mate, navigator, and security. They wouldn't let Eli inspect the cargo. Well, Eli wouldn't leave port until he did. So, uh, next thing, uh, story of my life. All my favorite people leave me. I'm sorry, Tilly. Yeah, thank God some of them come back. Tilly, uh, do you think there was smuggling going on aboard that ship? 
Well, there was some kind of crazy action. I took some photos of them carrying crates from the warehouse. But they caught me out and they threw me off the ship, but they've been dogging me ever since. What was in the photos? Nothing much. It's just I had a feeling in my bones. That don't make no difference now. Ship sailed. Well, it might not be too late, Tilly. I'd like to take a look around the warehouse. Simon, uh... It's down at the end of Victoria Street. There's a lot of guards down there. Simon, you're not going. At least not alone. Look, Alex, if we three go together, they'll follow Tilly. You can get past the goons and I can get into the warehouse in ways you can't. I'll see you there in an hour. You're getting in over your head, Simon. Alex, most things in life are over my head. How's it coming? I'm sure it is. This is one recipe that Jack Nasty's will never forget. Well, give me the recipe. <laughs> there you go. Okay, now you hide, and I'll look for you.
Tell me, is there another way around to that street? Yeah, this way. Freeze. Lose the weapons. Slowly. Good. Now face the wall. Face it! Drop the gun, or I'll blow his head off. You'll never get the shot off. Test my reflexes. This, no one likes to take tests. Simon, just walk towards me. You move and you'll be more of a stump than you already are. I think this is what they call a stalemate. No way! <laughs> <laughs> the rest. I wouldn't say we're out of trouble just yet, guys. <laughs> Look. What is it? Look what I found in the warehouse this morning. I don't see anything. It's a microcircuit. It's very state-of-the-art. I think they were hiding these in the radios to smuggle into the States. I knew it! What's it used for? I can't tell. I'll have to analyze it, but... I think it's very sophisticated and very powerful. Could it be nuclear? Could be. Tilly, when does that ship reach the States? Docks in Long Beach on the 25th. The 25th? Right. That's tomorrow. Don't you think it's odd that they never interrogated me? They didn't ask any of us any questions. They're waiting. For what for? To take us to their lord and master, the one that bought the Midnight Pearl. I sure hope I don't end up in front of him again. Why, what's his name? Who is the guy? <laughs> Darned if I know. I wasn't ten feet from him, never saw his face. Why not? Oh, all these lights. It's like looking at the moon through an eclipse. Then he shut off the lights and it was dark. Tilly, what color were the lights? Purple. Uh, uh, lavender. Was there any equipment, any medical equipment in the room? Yeah, there was. And there was a nurse there, too. Simon? It's Troyan. When you say he's not very big, just how small is he? Well, he's a dwarf. Did he have any kind of an accent? Yes, sir. British. The first time I shook his hand, a chill went through me. I must have known something even then. You see, the Pentagon had assigned me to remedy a design flaw in a communication satellite. And... I was in charge. But he defied me at every turn. I remember the day he issued the ultimate challenge. 
It was... Two days before the launch, I discovered Troyan had been paid to sabotage the satellite. When he found out I knew he tried to have me killed, he got me trapped in a radioactive storage area. Well, I escaped and he got trapped instead of me. Through McKay's negligence. He's the reason I'm a prisoner of this environment. The reason why I will never again be able to feel the warmth of the sun on my skin. Why I must constantly seek treatment under these lights. A prisoner. Because of the radiation poisoning, he can't go out in sunlight and he needs constant medical attention. The pity is, before he could be tried for espionage, he escaped. And he disappeared. For years, I hunted him. But McKay had simply vanished. It was after all that, I knew I had to find a better way. Re-examine my whole life. That's right, Alex. The missing six years. I waited a long time for this. At last, I have McKay's life in my hands. And believe me, he is going to. I know whatever Troyan's up to, innocent people are gonna suffer. Dispose of the other two any way you can. And then bring McKay to me. We've got to get out of here. We've got to stop. Simon, if you're gonna play that thing, please hit the right notes, okay? Alex, these are the right notes. Alex, he should be coming from across the street. Tell me when he's under the window. Who? Grunt. Grunt? Well, if Grant's a ball, he's starting to roll across the street. Simon, it's here. OK, Alex, now lick this suction cup. Well, that's ridiculous, Simon. Come on, you're a trained marksman. You can do it. Go on. Easy does it. Look at that! Harpoon him right in the beam! <laughs> <laughs> well done, Alex. Gently now. Don't want to lose him. Now that we've got him, what do we do with him? We'll put him between the bars. But I... I won't even ask. Now, stand back. Timetable has to be accelerated. Yes, sir. The success of this project is your first priority. But when McKay shows up, and he will, you had better be ready for him this time. Do you still want him brought here to you? Just his head will be enough.
How's it going, Tom? Uh -huh. This is a computer representation of the microcircuit I found in Troyan's warehouse. Can you tell what it's supposed to be used for? Well, advanced electronic designs like this are like works of art by a master. They don't need to sign their name to leave their signature. I would say this was by Dr. Iwamoto of Japan. He works in advanced laser technology. Lasers? I don't know how you find anything in all this clutter. Ah, Tilly, fresh coffee. That's great. Thank you. And Tilly, leave my clutter alone. It's very organized. <laughs> well, what are you doing now? I'm getting into Troy. You mean Troyan? Well, the Greeks use the Trojan horse to get into their city. I'm using a computerized version to get into Trojan. Oh, you mean access his computer? Exactly. doesn't he? Well, let's put in our thumb and pull out a plum. What should we go for? Dunbar Industrial Northeast Holding Diets International. Nice Power and Construction. Shakhtar. Global Fidelity Center. Wow. Eight million four hundred ten thousand. Wow. Surefine Corp. Cattleman Incorporated. Wait a minute. Did you say something about dives? Well, let's have a look. There it is. Dives International. Well, Eli said he heard some guy talking about delivering the cargo to a dive. Maybe it was dives? Let's give it a try. Here it comes. More figures. There it is, Dr. Iwamoto. Dives made a payment to him in 1985. Mm hmm, interesting. There you are. Mineral rights for property purchased in Milford, California. Tilly, I love you. <laughs> What's that creep trying up to? Look at this. He bought a house on Route 18 in Milford. 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 Gold. Just as I thought. Milford was the biggest gold mining town in California. They had to close it down after the San Francisco earthquake, and lots of the gold is still left there unmined. How come? Well, you see, the mine is on a major fault of fissure. And they're worried if they do any more mining, it'll trigger another earthquake. He's, He's thinking. thinking. That's it. He is going to reopen the mine. We've got to get to Milford right away. Thousands of lives could be at stake. You see, what I think he's going to do, he's going to use that laser to heat up the rock inside the fissure, and when the temperature reaches about 400 degrees, the water trapped inside will turn to steam, and boom, there'll be a big explosion, triggering another earthquake. Now, when the dust settles, after what seems to be a natural disaster, all Troyan's crew has to do is waltz in and take the gold he's bought the rights to. Tilly, make some coffee. We're leaving in 20 minutes. Everything ready? Yes. 
according to schedule. Let me have the radio. This is Mason. Relay to Tryon, everything is ready. He has positive control. evacuate the whole area. All right, but you two be careful. I don't want this reunion to end just yet. Hi, how you feeling? You'll get over it. What are you doing? Simon! Reconnaissance. I want to see. May I see your driver's license, ma'am? I left it in Hong Kong. Listen, you're going to have to clear the whole area. There's going to be an earthquake any minute, and it could swallow everything up. No problem. Yes, no problem. Really? What are you doing back down here? They said bring this crate back in. It's it. Well, put it down and get out of here. We're on final countdown. It's all right, Alex. Put me down. Simon, I can't leave you here. You have to. What's the problem here? No problem. Then let's go. If I'm lying, I'll tie a anchor to my tongue and then swallow it. Ma'am, would you please get out of the car? People's lives are hanging by a rat line. Yeah. Come on with me. I'll show you the house. All right, now, watch your head. Oh, shame they didn't issue you a brain along with that uniform. Seal it up.
on schedule, sir. And you're positive McKay didn't show up? If he'd been there, I'd have seen him. Stay where you are. I want a moment-by-moment -moment description of everything that happens. Everything. detail, Mason. See a thing. How are you? Fine. Simon? Eh? Do you remember when I said this was a boring assignment? Yeah. I lied. Celebrating? Just trying to fill an empty space. Doesn't work. I miss her too. It's gone and Troyan's still out there. We put a dent in his operation, Simon. We heard him. It was just my fate, I suppose. Sherlock Holmes had Moriarty. My curse is Troyan. Okay, let's go. Where? Down to your workshop. Do what? Use your imagination. Not in the mood. Yeah. Okay, boys, bring it in. I sure hope you don't mind. I carried my memories across five oceans, and I kind of like to have them around me. I thought you had to get back to your adventures at sea. And breathe the salt air. Feel the waves under your feet. A man, man in, in every port. port. Oh, I did not say that. <laughs> what made you change your mind? Well, I heard him say up anchor, and I turned around for one last look. I said, wait a minute. Them boys need me. Someone's got to take care of them. There's only one thing. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get used to a floor that don't sway. 
I'm sure Simon can figure out some way to make your room rock back and forth. Oh, shit. No problem. <laughs> All right, boys, upstairs, first door to your right. I'm going to cook a meal tonight you're never going to forget. <laughs> uh, Tilly, hmm? Alex is a bit particular about what he eats. Oh, honey, with me, you don't ask what's in it. You just ask for more. <laughs> oh, and Tilly. Huh? It's nice to have you back. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> oh, well, the way I figured. Why well, sail away in search of adventure? Well, it lives right here. Tonight on CBS Late Night, women are lured into a killer's world on T.J. Hooker. Then Gary Busey and Jodie Foster star in Carney, all later tonight after your local news. A symbol of freedom becomes free to visitors again, but there could be a fee for other American treasures. Aaron Moriarty reports tomorrow on the CBS Morning News.